Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today, I was actually asked a question and I wanted to do a video on it. Can you or can our family, when we retire, could we live off Social Security alone? Let's get started and talk about it. Both, neither my husband or I, receive Social Security. And as a matter of fact, we're both going to wait till we're a little bit older to receive Social Security benefits. So I want to share that first. Can people live off Social Security alone? Yes, I do think some people can. And as a matter of fact, I know some of the subscribers on this channel have, and they've shared some things in the comments below. I think it depends on so many factors. I do know this because I did research this. They say that the average Social Security payment alone only takes care of about 40% of your expenses. It was never intended to be the primary resource for expenses. So I want to say that. Do I think that people could live off it? I think it is possible. And I've mentioned this before and I did a little research on this too. I think that it depends if you rent or own a home where you live. They were also saying that the average person spends about 4% of their housing. So let's just say your house is worth $100,000 that the average person should set aside 4% of that in a savings for home repairs. And so that would you know, be quite a bit. So it depends on how much you're getting for Social Security if you'd have enough money to pay for that, even if your home is paid off. Also, if you own a vehicle, they say the average person spends anywhere from 950 to 2500 a year on vehicle maintenance. Now, I don't know if that includes car payments and car insurance, but maintenance. So these are things to consider. Now, let's say that I didn't have any other resources of income and all my husband and I had for was Social Security. Probably in that situation, we may downsize, move to a smaller town, possibly, and to where we could live in a smaller area where we didn't have as much house taxes, we may actually move to where we don't need a vehicle because I've mentioned this so many times. Housing and housing repairs, car and car maintenance, and health costs are your three biggies. If you can get those costs down, then you may be able to comfortably live off Social Security. For me, I never like to put all my eggs in one basket. I like having several resources of income and even let's say I retire at age 70 where I don't want to schedule anymore. I still want to do something part time and be able to have several resources of income. So if one well dries up, I have something to back up on. I do think people can live comfortably off Social Security. My big concern would be for anyone is when you have a big expense come up, would you be able to have enough to be able to cover that? I'm talking a large repair, something major that your health insurance doesn't cover. Would you have enough to cover that? I always advocate for if you can and you're able to have a little more cushion in your budget and a little more money coming in. So let me know what you guys think of this topic. Do you think it's possible if someone lives on a budget to live off Social Security benefits alone. That means no help or anything else, just that. I think it's feasible, but you would have to get creative with your budget. Let me know what you guys think. And if you find this information valuable, I sure would love if you would hit, consider subscribing and hit the bell notification. And if you want more personal videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon. That's all. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.